Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your iPhone 7 to iTunes if iTunes isn't recognizing it. Because when you have to update, your, when you wanna to try to restore from a backup with your iPhone 7, if you're using an older version of iTunes, um, for some reason, Windows 10, it's not recognizing it. The first thing you wanna do is unlock your iPhone. Unlock your thing, however you do it. Enter your code, whatever. And then make sure it's unlocked. And then plug it in. Okay, great. So now, what you wanna do is you wanna to check to make sure that this thing is there. So go to your computer, your My PC, wherever you do it, and make sure it's, it's listed here. Um, if it is, that means your computer's recognizing it, and now we just have to update the drivers. Click off of that. Make sure you keep it unlocked the whole time. If it goes dark or something like that, it could mess this process up. Go ahead and click on your, I'm sorry, click on your search bar and type in control panel, C-O-N. It'll bring up control panel. Next thing you're gonna do is click hardware and sound. Then you're gonna click into device manager. The next thing you wanna do is go to, over to portable devices, click on that, then find iPhone. Right click on iPhone, and then go to update driver software, click that. Then browse my computer for driver software, okay? Then let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer. Then you wanna to go to have disk, like that. Then you're gonna browse, and you're gonna go, I already have it there, but what you're gonna do is go to C drive, program files, common files, Apple, mobile device support, drivers, and then whatever driver that is. Open that, click OK. I already did this, so it's gonna, I don't need to re-update my drivers. Click OK, boom, and you should be good to go. That's all you have to do. And it'll update, and you're done. And then it'll, it should be able to, you should be able to go into iTunes, and it should um, recognize your device. Oh, now it says it wants to update. Well, you want to, I haven't done that yet, but you get the point. So at least it's saying now it's updated the thing. So what I would recommend to do guys, if you have an iPhone 7 and it's not connecting to iTunes, is get an Android device. But if you can't do that, then go ahead and go through these steps and should be fine. If you like the video, subscribe below. Um, Leave, leave me a comment. Let me know if it worked out for you. Go ahead and like the video as well. Thank you guys very much and have a Merry Christmas.